Hey Taurus, welcome. So, let's see what's going on with Randall. Health, all right. So, you guys are taking your health very significant, all right. It was really important uh, for you to focus on your health. We have, I will honor the physical, the physical vessel that enshrines my soul, all right. So, really eating more greens, maybe tapping in with nature, maybe some of you guys could be juicing or staying away from things that disturb your peace, you know, focusing on getting more rest, you know, um, balancing worry, okay, so you guys could be dealing with worry and realizing, uh-uh, it ain't good for your health, right, and um, you're learning that worry doesn't change an outcome, all right, so some of you guys are finding a better approach to dealing with uh, worry, all right, uh, or if not, you need to, right, it would be wise for you to do so, because in this in the journey of life you will encounter stress you just have to find a positive way to deal with your stress all right no one is completely exempt from stress in this mortal journey all right so finding a healthy way to deal with it okay rather than worrying because you know worrying does not change the outcome once again all right and i see you doing so right because you're realizing like your physical vessel is so important and you're honoring that it's what enshrines your soul. So you're like, I'm not worrying. You make a decision, you're gonna be making a decision like, uh uh, I am not uh, going to over worry myself or just worry, period. I'm gonna do what I can, focus on what I have control over, and let God do the rest. All right, and yeah, bottom of that, we have gratitude, right? Yes. So, you know, being grateful, you know what I'm saying? Trust in the process, trust in your path, trust in timing. And being grateful is going to allow a lot of beautiful opportunities present themselves to you in this life, right? Be a thing for life, too, and will, you know, extend your life journey, too, 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 you know, instead of cutting it short with worry. And that's good. Let's get into a love oracle, the first love oracle for you. Ooh, we have why can't I tell you the truth I wish to be like you somebody would love to immediately go to you right now you there's somebody you would immediately love to go to right now usually you have some things or they got something going on it's like straight to them or straight to you you don't know this love crazy 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 Maybe that's what got you worried that crazy hell. You ain't worried. You decided I'm not worried about that shit. You trust the process. I'm taking my health. Can you help first? Now, I would love to drive you crazy. This is a chronic romantic, but this is a love oracle. Um, yeah. All right. The way I treated you was wrong. Damn. I mean, You know that um, thing was like, please come home. I got beans and bologna. <laughs> Somebody treated you wrong. Or was it you? Was it you? Let's clarify. So we're gonna clarify why can't I tell you the truth? Because of childhood trauma. Somebody dealing with childhood trauma that that, that uh, allows them to stand in the lying spirit rather than standing in the truth or speaking the truth, all right? Something to do with childhood trauma uh, makes either you or this person avoiding to tell them the truth, all right? Same thing with childhood trauma. All right, I wish to be like you. Clarify, I was hurt by you, damn. So somebody hurt you because they wanted to be like you, girl? It is crazy because it happens in relationships a lot. Competition, you know, ego. Ooh, I got the chills. Got the chills. Well, they could have, you know, flip it if you have to, but definitely we have. I was hurt by you, and I wish to be like you. Or well, somebody like they just, the way you shine, the way you do things is like, as much as they wish to be like you, that shit hurt them. It hurt their soul, hurt their heart to see you be great. Mm -mm -mm. Clarifying uh, uh, right now, 
right now I would immediately go to you is people don't believe in me. So somebody wish they could come to you right now because nobody else believes in them. You was the only one that believed in them? Huh? You was the only one that believed in them. So now they like, damn, they wish they could run to you now. Yeah. If love is crazy. Why is it that you love me? All right, so it's been crazy. It's been crazy. Things been crazy. And they can't understand why you love them. I think that's going back to childhood trauma. They don't know what love is like. So they use the toxic love. All right, the way I treat you is wrong. Clarified is I'm scared of rejection. So somebody treated you wrong because they're scared of rejection. And that could be treated back to that childhood trauma. Ain't that some shenanigans? But they cry at night, baby. They been crying. I cry at night. They been crying at night. Maybe even you. Maybe the both of you. I don't know. Somebody been crying, 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 baby. All right. Probably at them tough on Main Street, but when they get in the sheets, they be crying, baby. All right, so we have balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. So there's been a challenge here with this crazy love. And the importance at this time is to bring balance into your life, into your heart. All right, so we have close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So... Finding balance is key when it comes to the matters of your heart, right? The heart will, you know, you know, put you in situations where you'll either be supported or challenged. But the, the key is to find balance, all right? You know that you deserve to feel joyful no matter what you've been through, regardless of whatever the hell you've been through or you're going through right now. You deserve to feel joy. You deserve to live, all right? You deserve to be healthy and, and have a beautiful abundant life of opportunity 